Hello everyone, welcome again. Well, in our previous video, we discussed how you can trigger the file upload script from WebDriver API. Also, for that, we did some configuration. For example, we specify the location of upload script. We also specify the location of the file which we want to upload. And for this, we have also hard code the location in the configuration, which is not good according to the coding standard for writing the script because when you run this script on your local system it will work but if you move this script on some build server at that time this will create problem okay so to avoid this kind of problem we are going to use I attribute which is provided by MS test framework that is deployment item but before that I will create a directory called resources in which I will keep all the resource which is required by this script. So here I will create a directory name resources. And I'm going to move this file upload executable as well as the Excel data inside this folder. So this act as a directory where all the resource which is required by my automation script will be placed. Once you created the folder, just go to the property of individual item and change the copy to output directory attribute to copy always. And this is a required thing. Because of this property, the deployment item attribute will copy the resource into the required directory. Now, once this is done, you need to use the deployment item attribute along with your test script. So if I go to the class definition, here we have two types of constructor, one which takes the location of the source directory and one which take the location of source directory as well as the target directory. So here I will specify the location of source directory that is resources which contain all the required item. Also, you can specify the target directory like this test resource directory so in this case this attribute will copy the item which is present inside the resources and create a directory called test resource dir and place all the resources inside that but for the time being i will go with the source directory that's all now once this is done you can remove the absolute path and just specify the name but in case of the file which you want to upload, we need to give the entire path. So now during the runtime, we will fetch the path and specify while upload. So to, the, to do that, I will use directory dot get current directory. So this method will automatically return me the current directory from where the script is getting executed. So here I will replace the location with this and also I'm going to use the quotation with this. So escape character and single quote. Okay and uh, here I will use console dot right line and print the entire path so the reason why I am using the double code is that sometime the absolute path will contain spaces so that will be taken care of by using the double codes now once this is done I will build the script and run this test script in debug mode
so it has hit the debug point and I will copy this entire statement and paste it in the immediate window so as you can see here this is the entire path to our Excel file okay so during the runtime it is finding the location from where the script is running and automatically picking up the resource from that location and one more thing so when I use this deployment item attribute so if I go to test result this is a directory so as you can see here it has already copied the content of the resource folder into the output directory which is this okay so this is our file upload script and this is our data file which we want to upload so that means our script is being executed from this folder that means all our, all the DLR are being loaded from this location so I will continue with the execution so as you can see here the file upload happens and here we are not specifying any location means absolute path everything is getting generated during the runtime now one more thing let us suppose I run the same script in Chrome browser I will build our project and run this script in debug mode So as you can see here, we are getting an exception and a script is getting failed. And if you look at the exception, it is said that it says that it says that it is not able to find the Chrome driver .exe. and the reason is simple as we are using the deployment item so our DLL file will be executed from this folder so that means the exe file that is the driver exe file should be present inside this folder so here inside the resource I'm going to add the executable for driver so add existing item bin debug So we have chrome driver.exe idriver.exe and the phantom.js and again we need to set the property of this item that is copy always if you skip this one it will not copy the resources inside the output directory so in that case again the script will fail okay again I will build the solution and run the script in debug mode So as you can see here this time it is able to launch the Chrome driver and the reason is simple it deployed the Chrome direct Chrome driver .exe file in, in the output directory from where the dealers are getting loaded
so it has hit the breakpoint and if I go to the output directory so as you can see here we have chrome driver.exe we have i driver server.exe and phantomjs.exe so that is why this time the script was able to locate the chrome driver.exe and it was running it is running fine so I will just continue with the execution so as you can see here it has uploaded the data file and continue its execution so in this manner you can use the deployment item attribute to deploy your resources which are being used by the script okay and if you want to get the absolute path during the runtime you can use this statement to fetch the path during the runtime also let's say if I specify here the name of the folder test okay and I'll change the configuration to Firefox put a debug point over here build the solution and run this script in debug mode so it has hit the debug point and if I go to the output folder that is this one so as you can see here this time because of this test it has deployed all the resources inside the test directory okay so this is the difference when you specify the source directory or you specify the source directory as well as the target directory but usually for the convenience purpose I suggest you suggest you to use only the source directory okay so in this manner you can use the deployment item attribute to deploy the resources which are being used by the test script this will avoid the overhead of giving the absolute path and this script will be dynamic every time when you run on your own system on or on the build server everything will be taken care by the script itself so that's all for this video and thanks for watching